Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. Up top this week, the first phase of construction is moving ahead on a nearly $5 billion underground and underwater transmission line that will carry hydropower from Canada across the border and along the entire length of Lake Champlain to New York City. We are announcing the construction of a 339-mile Champlain Hudson Power Express line that will bring the clean hydropower from Hydro-Quebec, Canada, directly to New York City. And once complete in 2026, it will deliver 1,250 megawatts. What does that mean? Let me put it in a word you'll understand. One million. One million homes will be powered because of what we're doing here. That's extraordinary. Governor Kathy Hochul says this one project alone will supply 20 percent of New York City's energy and help the state meet its goal of producing 70 percent of its power with renewable energy by 2030 and reduce the state's carbon emissions by 37 million metric tons. Hochul says it's the equivalent of taking a half million cars off the state's highways. A ceremonial groundbreaking was held this past week in Whitehall, New York, because this is where the first phase of construction will begin in the coming months. With the transmission line, a direct current cable being buried for 17 and a half miles between Whitehall and Putnam, New York. Submerging the line underground, underwater in the Hudson River and Lake Champlain, and along train tracks from the border to Queens will lessen the visual and environmental impacts. Transmission developers, the Toronto-based company overseeing the construction and operation of the project, says work laying the cable along the entire length of Lake Champlain will get underway in 2024. Everyone here today saw the promise in this project, believed in it, and committed to making it a reality. The construction over the next four years will create more than a thousand new jobs. And it will create over 1,400 quality, family-sustaining, prevailing wage, let me repeat that, prevailing wage jobs during construction. And that is very, very good news for the people who live here and those who will come here in search of those jobs. The Champlain Hudson Power Express will create hundreds of good-paying union jobs and local jobs. Those jobs combined with payments to host communities and school districts will pump about three and a half billion dollars into the upstate economy. A lot of jobs, a lot of jobs from here all the way to New York City as this is being uh, built and, and connected. Long term jobs, good paying jobs, but also it helps us meet our goals, you know, of a law that was passed in, I think it was 2018, 2019, the CLCPA, which requires New York State to meet certain uh, guidelines, certain uh, metrics on building a renewable energy supplied New York State. And this really brings a huge amount of energy that is produced by hydro from Quebec all the way to New York City, meeting the needs of uh, 8 million people. So it's just an incredible uh, opportunity for New York uh, to show what can be done in a partnership with another country, which is just amazing. You know, the host communities are going to have a financial benefit as this power line runs from Quebec down to New York City. Uh, certainly green energy and hydropower is, is wonderful because it is clean and but yet it's tried and proven technology it's reliable it's low cost uh, you know so I mean obviously we have major capital investment that's coming here but you know I mean just the uh, it's a, it's a great technology and it's going to uh, provide a significant portion of, of energy for New York City uh, it's got to come from somewhere and uh, you know this just made uh, the most sense financially the state awarded this uh, contract and uh, a lot of jobs are going to be coming with a project of this size, for sure. Along with the pilot agreements and more than $100 million to help protect natural resources and lake habitats, another $40 million will be set aside for green energy projects, including job training. I'm on the advisory board of that group. Uh, we're uh, uh, developing the, the staffing and the system and the process, which will be out sometime soon. Uh, we're hoping to see some of that come to the North Country for our green transportation companies for training that they need. So it's going to be fairly broadly defined in terms of the green economy. So windmills and solar panels and solar farms, things like that, yes, but we're also going to make sure it reflects and incorporates the needs of our green transportation cluster. After the announcement and groundbreaking, we asked Governor Hochul if the promised jobs and billions in payments will get host communities along the route of the transmission line to buy into the project. Governor, the uh, 
union jobs will be good for this project. Uh, do you think the $40 million environmental fund will be enough to get buy-in from communities up here in the North Country that won't be getting any of the power from this deal? It's overall $1.4 billion of money going to these communities. That's an extraordinary amount of money. Also, there's $186 million in community benefits that are going to be helping communities as well as the environmental fund. So there's many ways that these communities are going to benefit. This is truly an historic day for all of us. Joining the governor and state leaders for the groundbreaking were provincial delegates from Quebec. Pierre Dupar with Hydro-Quebec talked about how the project will improve the air quality for New York City communities and how collectively the region must work together to combat the effects of climate change. Hydro-Quebec is one of the sponsors of the World University Games coming to Lake Placid in the Adirondacks next month. So I'd like to invite you to join us to celebrate winter and all it means to us during the World University Game in Lake Placid in January. The theme is Save Winter. So very close to our heart as we think about the fights against climate change. And the project is making history north of the border. The transmission lines will be buried on indigenous lands and the Grand Chief of the Ganawage Mohawk community says they are for the first time ever partnering with Hydro-Quebec on this project. She comes from a family of iron workers who helped build the New York City skyline. It's really transcending because for indigenous people to be a partner in a project of this magnitude, and maybe you don't realize the connection that the Ganyagahaga have to New York, specifically New York City. Uh, my grandfather and his four brothers were all iron workers, what they call Mohawk iron skywalkers and helped to build the New York City skyline. They were part of various uh, buildings and bridges, uh, the original uh, World Trade Center, and to the point where there were so many Mohawk people, not just from Ganawage, but all Mohawk communities, that they created a community in Brooklyn called Little Kaknawaga, because there was 800 Mohawk people living in the city because the commute before the Highway 87 was there. Uh, was about 15 hours. You know, now we take for granted that we could drive to New York City in about six and a half, seven. But, you know, back in the day, it was very long. So what they did was they moved their entire families to live in New York to help to do this building of the high rises and the bridges. And so we have a very fond connection to the city of New York. And, you know, moving forward and seeing that we will be a part of, you know, this historic moment. In the past, Skydeer says indigenous people's lands and rights went unrecognized. It's cutting through what we recognize, like I said, as our his historical and ancestral lands. And, you know, we, we feel the need to be a partner because in the past, you know, a lot of times uh, it's not recognized in terms of indigenous people and our ancestral homelands. And when projects traverse our lands, uh, a lot of times it's just a buyout. Here's some money and, you know, go about your way. But for us to truly be partners in this and co-owners of the transmission line really changes, uh, you know, the narrative and the ability for people to see the merit and the ability for Indigenous people to be a part of the economy, to be a part of the solution. Along with the Champlain Hudson Power Express, another transmission line called Clean Path New York will also bring renewable energy to New York City. Combined, the two projects will supply one third of New York City's power. Many environmental groups, including the Adirondack Council, are supporting the transmission line. The Lake Champlain Maritime Museum says it has been assured that the power line's path will avoid known shipwrecks in the lake. Once again, the Champlain Hudson Power Express project is expected to be completed in 2026. The mega power deal is also being applauded by Quebec's premier Francois Legault. It is one of Hydro-Quebec's biggest deals ever. $20 million over 25 years.